here is the roadmap, guys. So you guys can see April is a big month for the mint. guys i am on boostcards.io and i do want to thank boostcards.io for being our sponsor in today's video now boost cards is a new revolutionary nft collection with an initial 8888 art collection followed by another 30142 only accessible by playing our unique boost cards game the game entitles 10% winners each game, and those who don't win are given Boost. Boost is a specially designed token for the Boost cards, which allows you to redeem your Boost tokens for more Boost cards. There are another 30,142 Boost cards that exist, only accessible by redeeming our Boost tokens. We created the Boost cards as we are tired of boring, uninspired NFT collections on the marketplace and wanted to create real value for the users. This is the first project of its kind with, with an active and passionate team who are all heavily invested in the Solana NFT communities. We hope to bring the awesome utility to the JPEG chasing community. So yeah guys, check it out. You guys will be able to find the links down in description. So yeah guys, check it out here on the website. You guys can view the white paper right here. Here it is, the white paper. You guys view it. It's got seven pages long. It talks about everything about the project. Thing you need to know, I do strongly recommend that if you are looking into possibly buying some NFTs from this project or getting into the booster coins or even just using the, the project in general, read over the white paper, read it word for words. So that way you know exactly what you're going to be getting yourself into. So here is the NFT artwork. You guys can see here the cards. You guys be able to start minting. Uh, minting will be available on 422, guys. Don't be left on earth. Claim your boost cards ASAP. Yeah, you guys be starting to mint these on April 22nd. This is where it's going to be. It's at 10 p.m. UTC time. The mint will be coming soon. And then here's a little bit more info about the project. You know, you got the, the 8,888 unique cards with hand-drawn character arts will be released during the mint. And then the, with the six boost multipliers attributes that affect their rarity and probability of winning soul in the lotteries, however, a total of 39,030 unique cards form the complete collection. And then the other remaining 30,142 can only be attained by users who collect boosts from the inside game when they participate. Uh, collecting boosts will allow you to mint these remaining cards to use them in the game or sell the secondary market for soul. So yeah, so they're gonna have a to token utilization with the game as well. So when you guys do win, you guys get huge prizes on the winnings. As you guys could see here, it says you get, I believe 10%. Yeah, our game entitles 10% winners in each game. And those who don't win are going to get boosts. So you're gonna come out winning something in the end, no matter what. So that is very awesome. And then here is how the boost cards are ranked. So see below here, so it's called the held deck. A deck background is hell ranked second of the 15 total decks and the boost value is 3.6 multipliers and then they got the diamonds that's going to have a boost value of 1.45 x and then they got the king that's going to be 1.92 x and then they got the diamond another uh 1.5 x black's going to be 1.1 and then glow 1.5 so they're all going to have different unique attributes uh, how the first game works so the enter the game users will stake their cards in the lottery and their boost value will give them their probability to win 10 percent of players will win 9x of their initial wager of soul each so the cost to enter will be 0.5 soul to 1.5 solana at least three games running concurrently 10 to 100 players per game uh, the treasury is used to keep the site and lotteries running and pay devs and can also be used to purchase the nfts to improve the lottery prize pool and in the future 
Uh, the card's boost value range between 1.8x and 34x. The game theory has been balanced so that better ranked cards win more frequently as you would expect, but even the lowest ranked cards still have a good chance of winning rounds just less frequently. So you hear that guys, even if you got the worst, dealt the worst hand, let's say you got the dealt the worst heart card when you were minting, and you go to battle with these, you still have a chance to win, guys. It's just going to be less likely. And if you don't win Soul, you are rewarded boost tokens. Remember that, guys. If you don't win the Solana, you're going to get boosts. And those boost tokens, you could go back to mint more NFTs with the boost tokens that you can't mint any other way. You can only use the mint, uh, the boost tokens, or you could exchange those boost tokens back to Solana or another cryptocurrency or just Solana, and then you could play again or mint more NFTs. <laughs> so as you guys see, you got this whole tokenomics being built around this project, which is very unique and creative. So very cool. And then here is the roadmap, guys. So you guys can see April is big month for the Mint. Uh, three days after the Mint will be the game launch, allowing the community to participate and upkeep the network for playing the game and winning the salon and earning boosts. Uh, dev team is stacked with interactive skill-based gambling games in development and unique prizes and giveaways on the horizon. So guys, there's going to be more to come. It's not just gonna be one card game. They're gonna be bringing a casino here as their final phase here is the most interactive science bot the metaverse and yeah you're gonna be in playing in the casino on the metaverse yeah buddy so yeah it's very very interesting stuff all you guys could view everything here they got frequently asked questions you guys could review here uh, you can even verify here the smart contract address here all very very exciting stuff guys also be sure to join their communities guys here you can follow them at Boost Cards on Twitter. They got over 11,000 followers and growing. Again, this is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest news and info about the project. And also be sure to join their communities, guys. You can join their Discord here. Boost Cards and Discord. Again, another great way to stay up to date with all the latest news and info about the project. And you're gonna have direct communication with all the community members and developers of the project. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this a project you guys are gonna be interested? Please let me know. Now, just a little fair warning, a little disclaimer, I did get paid to make this video. So please, always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor and that investing in projects, especially projects like these, do involve risk and you could potentially lose all your money. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. And also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. So that way you get notified every time that I go live and when I post new videos. Well, stick around, guys. I got more videos come and more projects to talk about. It is Nero here at Dap Center saying so long and enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.